I'm being asked every day, how's the market and what do you see happening in 2024? Hi, I'm Sam Wilson with the Sam Wilson Home Selling Team. And I get asked that question multiple times a day right now because there's so much uncertainty and fast change in the market that I thought I would take a minute and just shoot a quick video here and let you know what I see going on. So I'm going to start with what I believe is causing the fast paced changes and what's creating the most sensitivity in the market. Let me go ahead and uh, share my screen here. And I'm going to start with this, this screen from uh, freddiemack.com. They track mortgage rates for years and this is just a quick snapshot of the past year, but I'm going to focus right here. The fourth quarter through today, which is February 23rd, 2024. And why I want to start with interest rates is because the next chart I'm going to show you is the inverse of this. With interest rates at an over 8% in the fourth quarter of 23, sales plummeted. And all of the big brokerages are coming out right now with earnings reports, including mine, where um, the revenue is up due to agent count. You know, when you have 90, 100,000 agents in a brokerage, you add new agents, you're bound to get growth. The difference is profitability being down because the market was soft in terms of volume sales. So you'll, if you follow any of the quarterly earnings or any of the big economic reports, that's in a nutshell what's happening. But then in the first quarter here, I'm sure we're gonna see that change because we've had a dip in interest rates and in some cases by almost two points. During this week right here, keep in mind, this is a national average I'm showing you. Locally, we were seeing interest rates over um, five, but below six. So we saw as low as 5.5. That's significant. And the market exploded during these two weeks right here. I had three clients in the market, two listings and one buyer, and the buyer was having to compete again, multiple offers well over list price and my sellers were getting multiple offers and we are closing over list price with no problems with appraisals or inspections. Uh, by the way, if you're a buyer and you're being advised to waive inspections in order to get a property, just run. It, that is not a good idea whatsoever. I can fill you in on that. I can give you stories, I can give you the history and what's happening today from people that waived inspection two years ago during the uh, height of the market. So um, let me show you how this correlates to sales from the first quarter through the first quarter of 23, uh, uh, sorry, 24. So if I go to this website called Trade, Trading Economics, they track the US home sales. And remember, this is where interest rates peaked on the previous chart. Interest rates were high. Now they're getting low again. And this is where interest rates bottomed out, maybe for the whole year. Who knows? But we went from 8% interest rates to 5.5% interest rates. So it's an, a very sensitive and inverse relationship uh, correlation to home sales. I have never in my 23 years in this business seen buyers so sensitive to interest rates. The reason I think that's happening is because inventory remains so low. There are not enough homes to support the buyers. There's only about a month of inventory. Um, it's 1.2 months to be exact as of this week right now when I'm making this video here in the Denver Metro. And I'll show you those numbers here in a second. But my point is, if demand begins to rise again, which I think it will, and um, prices remain stable or slightly up, then there's going to be, uh, there's going to continue to be a lack of properties to supply the need. So let me, uh, let me jump to two final uh, visuals here. So before I get to my crystal ball, um, here's what's happening, and this is pretty consistent on a week-to-week -week basis here in the Denver Metro, and these numbers are straight out of the MLS. The only thing it doesn't show is prices, which are staying about even. At the end of February, I'll report on prices. It's hard to do in the middle of a month, but what I can show you right now is that um, we're only at about a month's inventory. 
it's a little over that and it's just not enough to supply the demand that's out there this means that if we didn't list one single more home for sale between now and march 19th 20th we would be completely out of product so that's extreme and demand is increasing this time of year because we're heading into the springtime so <clears throat> right now what we see happening is um what the, what i'm going to use this particular crystal ball for and, and some of you have seen my other crystal ball that's all duct taped and gorilla glued um, but just for the purposes of discussion if we continue to see inventory remain flat yet we see demand begin to increase because of the springtime summertime selling period then this is right this would be prices prices are going to continue to increase based on the supply and demand so if this is supply this is demand it only follows it's economics 101 that prices are going to increase granted i don't see them continuing to increase on such an extreme level um, however it just follows that they will especially if we see interest rates dip again if interest rates come down again then this curve gets more vertical because people are buying on payments they're not necessarily buying on price they're approved for a certain amount of loan and that amount of loan has a certain amount of payments they typically don't have enough cash to add to the down payment to reduce the loan so they're pouncing literally clients are pouncing buyers are pouncing on the market when interest rates drop a significant amount to lower their payments significantly hopefully that makes sense I hope you enjoyed this too. And by the way, I can do this kind of analysis um, right down to your neighborhood, right down to your street, right down to your house and the unique differences it has in your marketplace. I'm Sam Wilson with the Sam Wilson Home Selling Team. Thanks for watching. There's a bunch of other videos on my YouTube channel, still relevant from even you know the recent past, but you'll see more of these market updates and I'll continue to use it to just give you a feel for the market and advice on what buyers and sellers are doing real time. So thanks again. Hope you have a great week.